Hearing the term backdoor queen can cause havoc for those who surround themselves with such individual. But in today's society, instead of it being cringe, it seems to be glamorized. Today, we have a story on a young lady that has been pinned the backdoor queen of Philly. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Annie Renee, and thanks for tuning in. Now let's get right into it. Pilar is a young lady from the trenches of Philly that has been in the limelight since the early ages of 14. Not only that, she also had her first child at 14 to 15 years old and pregnant with her second child within six months of delivering her first. Most young women in the hood have a ghetto love story, but this wasn't the case for her this far. To be so young, her whole city allegedly hates her, but according to her, she is very well known and loved. She became known for doing skits on YouTube called Ruthless when she was just a kid, where she was potentially setting dudes up. Now, even though this was part of the skit, she feels this is what caused the rumors to start, but many people have said otherwise. It's to the point that people have even compared her to another female that goes by the name Queen Op. Now, if you don't know who Queen Op is, let me just say she openly disses men and outs them when she engages in sexual behavior off the radar. Queen Op has been with many of your favorite rappers and hustlers. So if you don't know, now you know. Anyways, let's get back to Lar, AKA XL. Now, according to her, she had a hard life in Philly and had to sell drugs until she had kids and then hopped off into other things. One of her main sources of income at the moment is OnlyFans, which is to be expected. A lot of women resorted to OnlyFans to generate extra income during the pandemic. Coming from a single family household caused her to get it how she could to take care of her kids. So I know what you're thinking. She sounds like the average female, but it was really when her ex-boyfriend, a rapper by the name of King Lord, met his demise. People in the city are saying Lord and King Lord got into an argument and he ended up pistol whipping her and got locked up over it. They broke up and once he got released, he starts seeing someone else. It's alleged that this upset Pilard and she lined him up and dropped his location where he would be gone down. Now, Pilard is saying none of that is true and it was his new girl that got pistol whipped and set King Lord up and that she is still cool with his family. Now, what I find interesting is that many people are saying that is just the beginning. And another guy in the same camp as King Lord was lined up and Pilar was the last one to speak to him. The text message was leaked and I'll drop it on the screen for you. It says, I love you, sis. I love you forever and day one, love. Just be careful, okay? Cause you all I got left. If you die, ain't nobody gonna move for you but your sis. Always got you. I'm not dying no time soon, sis. If I do, I'ma be back with my gangsters. All this for them. This is what we signed up for. I know, bro. I miss Khalil more than anything. You just stay on point. Your sis need you out here. When it's my time, just do what I taught you. I got you, brother. That's tough, especially if this is true. It be your own people. Money makes people do crazy things. Speaking of crazy, it has also been alleged that Pollard is known for being in all of her boyfriend's ops lives on Instagram regularly and even following them. Now, Pollard moved to Atlanta for a while and then came back to the surrounding areas of Philly to co-parent. It's also alleged that she got into a fight and they poured bleach on her daughter. Not sure how true that is though. I mean, y'all know rumors have no filter. Regardless, people are calling her a witch, a scorned witch at that, and saying she's heavy on demon time. It's to the point, rappers are currently dissing her in their songs. Although someone said it was just one song. 
People are also saying she is at large in Atlanta and that's the real reason she went back home. Now, Pollard is not showing any emotion towards the entire situation. She actually finds it quite funny and shrugs it off. Although she receives a lot of death threats and hate, it doesn't bother her. And she feels that if the rumors are true, people know where to find her and she would have at least been shot by now. That's really steep for Shorty to speak on it like that because you won't know when it's your time or if someone is planning a drop on you. That's the point, for it to be sudden and off guard. Let me tell you, this story reminds me of Ambry out of Chicago. For those who don't know about Ambry, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. Ambry was from Jairo City on the south side of Chicago. Ambry was cool with STL and EBT boys who beef heavily with O Block, which is where Lil Dirk and King Von claim as home. Ambry was so cool with the guys that she became a familiar face in the South Side. Ambry was just cut like that and had no fear. As her popularity grew, so did her face in FBG Duck and Wooski videos, and she was recording their performances. In due time, she developed a reputation, and the streets of Chicago would call her the backdoor queen. Rumors started to spread, saying she was setting men up around her to meet their demise. People extremely close to her started dropping like flies on a regular basis. Her family said she wasn't like that, but to no avail, their words meant nothing to the streets. Ambry would eventually lose her life to a gunshot wound to the chest, 12 times to be exact, and left in an alley. According to dispatch, she was arguing with the male. Let's take a quick listen. Units and five units on the city. We're getting a shot spotter hitting a person shot. 10747 Everhart. 10747 South Everhart. Got a male and a white truck just shot a female in the alley. Says she's been shot about six or seven times about arguing with the male in the truck with the shot spotter hit over there with multiple hits at that location. That's all I have this time. No further in five. Don't mind. We're done. Five three sold out of the box. Rumor has it, it was for being the backdoor queen. And it is still a cold case. No one has officially been charged for the crime. So rest in peace, Ambry, and to Pillard, be safe out there. Watch the company you keep and focus on your children. Although you may be taking the rumors lightly, you shouldn't because your children need you. Ambry now has a child left to this world with no mother or father. I hope you can see the seriousness in this and find a way to clear your name. There's not enough clout and hype in this world to accept such a title. Remember, the world is changed by your example, not your opinion. Thanks for tuning in to Anna Renee Speaks. And until next time, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Fair use allows the unlicensed use of copyrighted material such as text, image, video clips, and audio files without permission from the author or copyrighted owner under certain circumstances, such as criticism, parody, news reporting, commentary, research, scholarship, and teaching.